Hey guys, it's Nakipo again, and I'm back with a very controversial theory. It's always the quiet ones. All of us Genshin players know that there are different races presented in the game. Some playable characters, as well as some NPCs we meet, have noticeable animal-like features. Those characters can be divided into two groups. The first one, where these features are hereditary, like in the cat's line bloodline, and the second one, where the nature of the animal-like attributes is supernatural. The difference between these groups is that the inherited features make the characters stand out in their environment, since they are very noticeable, usually it's both ears and tails. Meanwhile, in the second group, we see a decorative usage of animalistic features. For example, Ganyu, whose horns come from a half adeptus ancestry, doesn't have a tail. Chilling are not real animals, but magical creatures, so although visually reminding of one, they don't have to be anatomically correct. Yaemiko has fox ears but no tail, because she's not a fox but a mystical creature. And Kujo Sara may not even raise any suspicion within most players. To better understand why Sucrose is so unique, let's try to match her with one of these groups. Visually, her ears look like Yaemiko's, and she also does not have a tail. Wrong! The answer lies within Sucrose's character story number two. After observing Diana for a month, Sucrose came to this conclusion. Similar genome, but ultimately different ancestry. Cat connection merits further study. Which I understand as a proof that Sucrose has a half feline ancestors, but not from the cat's line bloodline. So how exactly her ancestors got these features requires further investigation. I would like to quickly address the popular idea that Sucrose is a dog. First of all, people point out her idol animation, where she looks at a bone. Dogs are not the only animals who eat meat from bones. In fact, domesticated cats make us easily forget how most felines look. Also, Sucrose is a scientist, a bioalchemist to be precise, with a hobby of collecting different bones for research, which provides no connection to her race. Her ears look different, but Sucrose doesn't like attention they bring, so she says herself that she covers them with her hair. Oh, you... Uh, noticed. My ears are a hereditary feature, quite different from everyone else's. So I try to hide them with my hair as much as possible. Lastly, after observing Diana, Sucro secretly makes a pair of cat-eared spectacles. If her conclusion meant she realized she was a dog, why would she make these spectacles? that seem to be a gesture of accepting her feline features. So, Sucrose features are hereditary and feline. The only other examples within group 1 with similar attributes are Diana's father Druff and his ancestor Olaf. I highly doubt that the world of Teywat has many different breeds of dogs and cats. In fact, the ones we can buy in the teapot, although having different code and region of origin, still look very similar, so I don't think Manx exists in this world. Goro bears features of a generic Genshin Impact dog, Diana of a generic cat. So the chances of a certain mutation that led to Draft, Olaf and Sucrose's lack of tail are extremely low. Then why wouldn't they have a tail? The only other explanation would be that their tails somehow were damaged. For Draft and Olaf, this argument suits them well. They are professional hunters, and it's not uncommon for cats to lose their tail in battles. Sucrose, on the other hand, is a scientist, so dangerous situations involving wild animals do not seem like her usual environment. However, what we do know about Sucrose is that she is embarrassed of her features, and she is known for her questionable experiments. The Alchemist <sighs> she once gave me a piece of equipment and told me it would help me infiltrate an Abyss Order camp undetected. In reality, it caused a huge explosion that completely blew my cover, and before I knew it, I was being accosted by 13 Mita Churls. So we're left with four possible ideas as to why Sucrose doesn't have a tail. 
She has a tail, but she hides it, which may be possible, but a bit difficult with her clothes. She has a genetic mutation. She lost her tail during one of her experiments, or she got rid of her tail herself. Which theory do you find most likely to be true? Thank you for watching and consider subscribing for more Genshin Impact lore theories.